Here at TV44, we are blessed with the largest television studio in the region, and we love to see how God is using this space to reach others in creative ways. Possibly you saw the recent comedy special featuring Christian comedian Will McDaniel, which was originally recorded right here in the TV44 studios. Another program recorded here, Update with Bill Harris, seen weekly on TV44, as well as on other stations in Ohio and the southern Indiana region. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch Update, we encourage you to do so. Bill Harris focuses on relevant topics and challenges you to think deeply. Coming up this week, Bill talks about our common idea of self-sufficiency and how we can get caught up directing ourselves, relying on ourselves and not listening to the spirit in God's direction. We often, whether verbally or non-verbally, tell God, I've got this. Well, thank you guys. On top of being a registered financial consultant and a two-time Emmy award-winning producer, Bill Harris ministers through his weekly television program, update with Bill Harris that you can find right here on WTLW. We are privileged to have Bill join us now. Bill, thank you so much for being with us today. Happy to be with you, Zach. Bill, we're going to talk a little bit about an upcoming subject and topic that you're going to approach on your uh, upcoming show this mm -hmm. Sunday, uh, Update. Yes, and that subject is called Walking in the Spirit. And I think that is so very important because when we don't understand that this is one of God's requirements for living the Christian life, we tend to walk in the flesh. And the definition of that basically is stemming from the fact that God created you spirit, soul, and body. And each of those three components of you will want to do its own thing and go its own way in life when mm -hmm. it is not under the influence of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes and directs our spirit, and remember it's spirit that connects with spirit, that influence spills over to the soul, which is the uh, the mind, the, w the will and the emotions, and from there on to the body, to make the body behave. And that's how <laughs> God wants to guide us through life. Absolutely. And so how do we approach those three areas to guard them and to properly get in the habits to grow them and listen to God's Spirit? Good question. Spending time with the Lord, Zach. I, suffice it to say, many of us Christians, we get up and we start our day without spending time with the Lord. You know, it's almost like uh, th th we need gas for the car. And some of us are running around on empty because we don't take time to refill sure. ourselves yeah. with that. And there's a three, very quickly, just a three pronged way to do this. For the body, the Lord tells us in Romans uh, chapter, uh, I think 12 verse one, that we are to lay our bodies on the altar of sacrifice. And therefore we're, we are killing off, we're mortifying, the Bible says, those desires of the flesh that are contrary mm -hmm. to God's will. Secondly, not to conform to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And in reading the word of God and meditating on it, beginning to think the way God thinks rather than the way our bodies and our souls want us to think. And then thirdly, to walk in the spirit, that is our spirit becoming subject to the spirit of God and being led by him. Sure. And so. What recommendations do you have? I know that many of our viewers, we are in the middle of the hustle and bustle of a busy life. Yes, maybe there are yes. children at home. Maybe it's work that keep us so busy. Do you have any recommendations to those individuals at how they can maybe take these baby steps to develop this relationship? Yeah. I think a baby step might be getting up five minutes early <laughs> in the morning and spending that time with the Lord if you're a morning person. Another baby step is if you are a night person instead, a lot of people are night owls, sure. uh, take five minutes later to spend that time with the Lord and then expanding it over time. But when you can spend time in God's presence and you have to Zach, get away from the noise on the outside, then you have to ask God to help you to deal with the noise on the inside because there's a lot of turmoil going on the inside and God will help to quiet us with that so that we can hear from him and begin to receive his influence and direction. Absolutely. And so when we start to do that, I know that we've talked a lot about around here getting away from the devices or the computers. Maybe it's the <laughs> cell phone that's keeping yes. you so busy. Yes. It's difficult in, in this world it um, is. to take that and get that quiet time that Quite honestly, I think often we don't realize we're missing mm -hmm. that quiet time mm -hmm. until we really get away from it all. That's right. And, and, and suffice it to say, what happens is that here we are, the Lord is trying to help us. Let, let's use the analogy of steering a car down the road. You're going to your sure. destination okay. in life. And the Lord wants to take the steering wheel and take control for you. But, you know, we fight because we want control. And so here we are fighting with the Lord. And then when we have an accident, we expect the Lord to give us a full explanation of what went wrong. <laughs> True. <laughs> he wanted to be in control all along. And then he has, he has to back off and let you have it when you won't give over to him. Absolutely. And so you <clears> talk <throat> a little bit about in your show the self-sufficiency of that. Yes. Thinking that we can do it on our own um, and then really blaming God when, it's, when yeah. we find out we can't, quite <laughs> honestly. Is there an element of, let's say, pride that plays into that as well? 
um, most, too often. Most definitely. And pride is like the beginning point of all sin because we, in our self-sufficiency, you know, we tend to tell God, I can handle this, God. Yes. I, I've got it. Yeah. I've got this. It, whether we say it verbally or just, uh, just, show it just showing it, that's yeah. what we're doing. And uh, be, because we are made to be uh, independent people, independent thinking people, and we have uh, the option to do things on our own or with the Lord, we tend to take off in that direction. To surrender that authority to God, it, it can be sometimes difficult because now we're losing control, so to speak. Sure, yeah. But, you know, actually, when you turn over the control, the control to somebody else, you're still in control because you're the one that's turning over that control. So you're, you're still in control. If, if I could say that, just to encourage somebody to, to give it over to the Lord. And he always has a better way mm -hmm. than what we've chosen. Sense, knowledge, human intellect, and logic and the like tell us one thing. But if we'll be still long enough and listen to God daily, he'll give us his path. He'll give us the direction. And we'll sense as we're going through our day, the Lord saying, yeah, this way. Ah, 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 not that way, this way. <laughs> we'll sense that and we'll know how to be successful. And you had mentioned just prior to this segment, we were talking about the voice um, of God. And once we take that time to spend with him, maybe spend just a few minutes here and there uh, reading in the word or spending time in the word, that we can start to sense that voice a little more and more throughout the yes. day, that it's, it's easier to hear, yeah. perhaps. The, the more I get to know you, Zach, the more I get to recognize your voice. And, and soon I can, you can be in a crowd full of people and I can pick out your voice mm. because I've heard it enough. Same way with the Lord. And it, that, that means we're establishing the kind of relationship whereby I'm tuned into his voice all the time. Absolutely. Well, Bill, we thank you so much uh, for being with us today. You can catch an uh, update with Bill Harris in this topic. If you're interested in hearing more on this topic, it'll be this Sunday at 1.30 that he'll be speaking on the topic of walking in the spirit and not the flesh. We are so grateful to have him here and encourage you to watch Update with Bill Harris on Sunday. Guys.